All right. Well, um, I wasn't expecting to finish that game so quickly, but here we go. So on to something else. We are going to be playing The Evil Within. Yeah, I have yet to even complete this on the uh, on Survivor. I want to get the harder difficulties, but we'll play through the game anyways. We just change the title. Give me just one second. So, we'll just start a new game here. The guy with the absolute dirt worst stamina in existence. So, well, survival. So you're getting a nice dual stream here. Two games for the price of one. Now, I'm not sitting through this crap. So we're playing as Seb Sebastian, who has the most god-awful... The most god-awful stamina known to mankind. And I hope I hope the volume is not too low for you guys. Whoever's here, I don't know if it's too low for you or not. Let me know. Cause I did turn it down a little bit. That's usually what I do when I first start a new game. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. So we're here with our partners, Joseph, or as I like to call him, Slosov. Because all he does is get in the damn way all the time. And Kidman. If you are a fan of survival horror, Resident Evil style type things, you'll like this game. But then again, at this point, who the hell hasn't played this yet? Seriously. What the hell are you doing if you never played this before? I've got it. The security cameras might tell us something. I really hate this guy. Like, that guy there, he's one of the most annoying characters in the game. And we're hanging upside down. Hey, Master Splinter. You see any mutated turtles down here, man? All right, we need to get that knife. And that guy's still alive? All right, so we need to get that damn knife. Come on, Sebastian, reach for it. Give me that knife. 
cut ourselves down. I lost my gun. Uh oh. And you know something? I think I completely forgot all the control. There we go. Crouch is control. All right, so we need to wait for this guy to move. Move his ass out of the way. And then get the key. And then get the hell out of here before he sees us. Could you be any slower, Sebastian? Yeah, he can be slow. What the hell are you doing? Come on, bro. You want this guy to chop off our leg or something? Yeah, let's walk. Let's walk. I mean, we don't have anything to lose, do we? Yeah, now we're running. That makes Impressive. a lot of sense. Hey, thank you for the follow. Mira, I'm just going to say that because I don't want to mess up your name. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. As we play as uh, Sebastian... We're just getting started with Evil, Evil Within. I just finished up, um... I just... Holy crap. Um... I just finished up State of Decay 2, at least one of the... the main endings. So I'm gonna come back to that later. I don't wanna... make people sit through that again. So we will do something new here. That first, like, the first chapter of this game is really slow. Like, he just... He moves like an old man, dude. It's what it is. Now... I don't remember where everything is, like all of the, you know, the puzzle pieces and all that and the notes. I'll try to find them as best as I can. Because it's been a while since I played through this game. It's been a while. I had this game back on um on the Xbox the Xbox One. So I beat the hell out of that game then, but if you don't play something for a while you forget. Where's the exit? It's our first note. For those of you who don't know, you know, picking up these notes and all of that stuff. Is uh to unlock you know unlock different weapons in the game and stuff the brass knuckles, a different version of another handgun that you get and another uh sniper rifle that you get, also to unlock the the rocket launcher. Which is a, you know, the rocket launch is a cool weapon. One of the things that I do like that they did with this is even though they give you, 
even though they give you, you know, special weapons like that, it's not infinite ammo, which is great. So you can't just go around spamming the rocket launcher because it doesn't have infinite ammo. And whatever ammo you have left from the special weapons carries over to the new game. So you can't, like I said, you can't just, you know, go through the game spamming rockets because, I mean, that's no fun anyways. But you know what I mean. You can't cheese your way through. That's my point. And we got this guy here. The locker. We're gonna hide. You don't see me here. I don't exist. I'm in the inner machinations of your mind. You know, I get the feeling that guy doesn't like me. Don't you? We gotta be careful here. Because he will kill us if he sees us. Stealth mode. Shit. And he saw us. And we're gonna die. We are gonna die. If I don't die here, you t Yeah, we're dead. Holy crap. Come on, dude. Be nice to me, brother. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> he killed us. <laughs> Yo. Yep, our first death. All right. You lucky bastard. You won't catch me again. I'm just going to wait here. Don't see me. Don't see me. You don't see me. I'm in your imagination. Can I? Can't let him see me. The hell do you think I'm doing, brother? Don't come out here. Don't come out here, man. Sneak past this guy. Ah, oh, come on now. All right, we're going to need him to break these boxes. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. So, yeah, apparently going there doesn't make any sense. Come on, you are too slow, bro. I 
All right, we need to throw this out there somewhere. He went out there. That's not what I need you to do, bro. Damn it. I need you to go away somewhere, bro. Come on, Sebastian. Let's hustle. snap I thought he saw me let's limp our way through here come on now all right Hey, how you doing, brother? There's no time to lay down, brother. Come on, Sebastian. All right. Got away from this dude. <laughs> you know, the first chapter of this game I always found to be very, uh, just very slow. But once you break past that, the, the action picks up. Find myself with ends. Can I skip this? You're not going to make me sit through this. Come on now. Yeah, I can't skip it. Unskippable cutscene. Because we all like that, don't we? You know, I gotta say, um, the... Apparently our leg is healed, I guess, after being sliced. Anyways, what, what I was going to say is, um, the game looks really good on the PC compared to, compared to, uh, the consoles. I remember the colors looked a little bit, uh, washed out on the Xbox One. But it looks really good. It, it looks really good on PC for a game this old. And this is where we get to meet Titiana. Hello. Y'all need an exterminator, man. Look at all them bugs on the wall. Are we awake? 
Sorry, I had to cough there. Hello, Miss Lady. I'm the only person here, huh? Hospitals are creepy enough as it is, man. Imagine being the only person in a hospital. Future memories, huh? The hell wants to remember this place? Yes, Sebastian, it smells like medicine. What? I mean, what a hospital supposed to smell like? They gonna smell like cheeseburgers. It's our first map fragment here. For what I, you know, I'm gonna try to go off based off what I can remember. So we're sitting in our fortress of solitude here. You mustn't fight it. This is for your own good. No. Stop. There now. You see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? Lady, am I crazy? And all of a sudden, this dude wakes up. <laughs> he wakes up in a car that crashed. Yeah, I, I gotta tell y'all, man, I'm really disappointed in having to play through Survivor. But this is one of those, in those instances where you have to play through the game to unlock the... The higher difficulties, and that sucks. But at least, you know, I'd rather play on survival than to... Than to play on casual. Like I said, Sebastian, look at his... Look at his stamina, man. Anybody who has played this game, that's that's one of, that's like the the worst thing they put in here. You can only run for a few seconds. And then he gets tired. Oh my god, Connolly. Connolly. Well, that's unsettling. Get out of here. Are you dead yet? There you go. My God, Connolly. He was my comrade and I put a bullet in him. Several bullets in him. Meet the Ashley of this video game, if you get that reference. Probably the most annoying character in this entire game, Leslie. All this guy does is scream at the top of his lungs and just run away. Yeah, exactly, Sebastian. Trap parts. Trap parts come in handy later when you get the uh, the agony crossbow. One of the best weapons in the game.
We have a burning mechanic, so we can burn enemies, which is great. I like that. Matter of fact, we got to assign. So I don't have to go through all of that nonsense. Hello there, Miss Titiana. If you're wondering, this, this green substance is brain goo or gel. This is our currency in the game. This is what we use to upgrade our weapons. And we're back at this hospital, whatever the hell it is. Collectibles. And we got her here. So let's make a quick save. So we don't have to go through all of that nonsense again. Now we don't even have enough green gel to even to do anything so we'll just keep it moving now I know throughout the game you get these um in the first the first playthrough at least throughout the game you get these these little statues that drop keys so that you can open lockers. You're gonna die. Right in the brain. He just stabs these dudes right in the brain. <laughs> Like, Sebastian does not care, man. Now, for anybody that, that has played this game who has never played this game, do not ask me to explain the plot in this game because I have no idea what the hell is going on in this game. Like, the story is so convoluted. Like, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's just not anything that I can physically explain. It's, it's probably like an acid trip, basically. There's our first statue. Get that key. Yeah, the, the story is so convoluted, I don't even know, to, to be honest. Now, we don't have much ammo here. So what I might do I'm probably just going to burn the uh the hay here. Let these guys run in and get burned. Ooh, creepy. Hey. Or maybe I'll just stealth kill him. I don't know. I'm making up my mind as we go here. Are you going to keep? Okay, I'm about to see. Keep looking over this way. You're dead, brother. Now, there's a lot more enemies here. Trust me when I tell you. More handgun bullets. That's great. Hopefully that guy doesn't see us. All 
Apparently, when they get infected, they have barbed wire around their damn head or around their bodies. I don't understand how that even works. You're dead. Another note there that we got. Matches, we can burn the enemies, which is great. I actually really do like that mechanic in this game. And I'm really I was really disappointed when I played the Evil Within 2 and they got rid of that mechanic. That sucked. But you burn the enemies. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. I'm not even going to say anything about that. This is a... This is a PG channel. We don't think things like that here. All right, so we have a whole bunch of enemies here. Um, there is a key over there, which I'm going to have to try to get without dying. So we're going to have to use our traps and use stealth to get past these dudes. Because we don't have, we barely have any ammo, so. So I'm going to take out this guy first. Make sure you keep your lantern off because, of course, they're going to see the light. And they're going to know you're here. Play it safe. All right, we're going to take this guy out. I think I remember on, um, on, um, What's it, uh, what's it call it? A Kumu mode. This guy, uh, yeah, we're probably, he's probably going to see us. On a Kumu mode, their field of vision is definitely, uh, I don't think, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him. Ow. Well, that didn't work. But this will. Is he going to get burnt? Yes, he is. Heal up. I probably shouldn't have done that, but, you know. Got a torch here. All right, before we run over there, we're going to go get this key that's over there. Over here in this building. Now, of course, there's enemies in there, so be careful. In fact, I think there's one that that's out here right now. Or comes out. Yeah, I can see a shadow. He's right there. Take him down. It's inside this building here. I 
inside this room. That enemy will get up, burn his ass. There's our second key. And I can't believe I still remember that too. And we still have another torch that's out there to use against the other enemies, which is good. And there's another map fragment right here too. It's map fragment number two. All right, I know there's another, yeah, there's another torch here. So we're gonna use that. Unless I could find another thing of hay. That I can burn. I don't think so. I should have used that for... Oh, well. There's nothing I could do about it now. There's a dude right there. Now, I might just get him to run into into this trap here. Hey, over here, brother. Over here. Dumbass. Use the traps to your advantage. Might use the because I know there's another guy here. Okay. Now I could burn these dudes, which is what I'm gonna do. You're dead. And yeah. I think I'm good here. the hell out of dodge now i know i think there's another map fragment over here if memory serves me correctly uh yeah right here map fragment number three And we're about to end chapter two. Never mind these guys, just run past them. With your bullshit stamina. Shit. Better get out of here. Yeah, let's just jog our way here. They can't catch us. All right, and we're done. But chapter two. Let's move on to chapter three. But yeah, I'm surprised. Like I said, I'm surprised on how good this game looks. I know it's not that old of a game, but like I said, looking at the difference on the Xbox One and the PS4 compared to this, it's like night and day. Now, I think this is where if you had the fighting chance pack which was like the pre-order bonus when you first got this game there would be another shotgun here 
but since we don't have it, because I know for a fact that you get, there would be a, a second shotgun that you would be able to get, and you'll be able to get the uh, the incendiary bolts and the poison bolts for the uh, the agony crossbow. But since we don't have that, and I only know that because I used to watch a streamer, um, Mr. G Star Three Two One. And I watched him play through this on Akumu. And he explained that because he had the other shotgun and all of that. Chapter 3. You know, this is one of my favorite chapters in the game. I do like this because it, this kind of reminds me of uh, of like the first... Like the first chapter of Resident Evil 4. Like when you're when you're Leon S. Kennedy first getting into this village. I mean, I know Shinji Mikami is the one who uh, who directed this game, so go figure. Same guy that directed the original, the OG Resident Evil 4. And I know why he did this game, because I, if I can remember correctly, reading one of his interviews, he wanted to, I mean, we were going through, we were going through a time period where there was just no survival horror games at all. Like, our fan base was, was severely lacking. Like, everything was trying to be the next Call of Duty. Everything was trying to be action oriented and multiplayer and all of that stuff. And we were not getting games like this for a while. You know, like 2008, 2009. And that's why Shinji Mikami ended up leaving Capcom because it was like, you know, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6. Where are you taking me? Do I need to say more? That's not survival horror. That's not what he what he was enjoying doing. Screw Resident Evil 5. That game sucks. And I will never miss a chance to crack on that game. It sucks. Resident Evil 6 sucks. Do you have a key like this? Yeah, you could have just given me that key, lady. I can't get a read on this lady. Like, she is just weird. I mean, is, is she a part of our subconscious? Oh, man, come on. This is the first thing that they give us. I don't even need that. Eh. I was kind of hoping for ammo, man. And I mean, I guess it's good to have uh, to have healing, but come on, man. That's the first thing they give us. Healing. All right. You know what? I really don't even want to waste any gel on the handgun. This handgun is is probably the worst gun in the game. It's it's awful. It's awful. All right. Bomb traps, you're going to need that, I'm telling you. I'm going to wait until I get the Agni crossbow to start upgrading my weapons. There's another bomb here. Disarming bombs and traps will give you trap parts so that you can create arrows and bolts. Which is 
like I said, the agony crossbow is just is amazing. Now, in this area alone, I believe there are four keys, but we're going to have to kill everybody first. We're definitely going to collect all of it. The hell you want. Those things chased me all the way into the village. Me too. Mm -hmm. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. What are we going to do? We're going to kill them. That's what we're going to do. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. But you're the one who's the scientist. Can't you, like, outsmart them or something, man? Like, why do I gotta do everything? Maybe I'm on break. Yeah, I'm a detective, but I have a break, man. At this point, it becomes an escort mission because this guy and the next it's more so the next mission where where it becomes a uh, escort mission. And there's there's a bunch of enemies here, so don't go around kicking open doors. Hey, over here. That's right this way. Them dudes are not even paying no attention to <laughs> like honestly. All right. You can hide under beds in case enemies see you. Matches. Well, hello there. See, I was aiming right at her, and it did nothing. Like, seriously, bro. Burner. And him. Like I said, this handgun, like, you have to upgrade the accuracy, but I was aiming right at her head. Y'all saw that, right? And this handgun sucks. I'm telling you, man. Half a head. That's always funny to me. You shoot off half of their head and they still come after you. All right. So axe here. Never mind that guy. He won't get up. That guy is pretty much dead. I can't go out that way. Axes, axes and torches are one hit kills. Unless you're dealing with those giant fat, uh, fat haunted as they call them. They're not zombies, they're haunted. They're haunted, I guess that's what the name is called. They, for some reason, axes don't kill those guys with one hit. And we have a sniper in this area, so be careful with that, too. There's a guy there with a gun. Screw you, dude. Yeah, you like that? 
All right, we got some grenades here. Holy crap. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. If you crouch, you can regain you can regain some of your health quickly. But we're going to heal anyways. Like I said, we have a um we have a sniper out here, so please be careful with that. There's a trap there. You got to be careful with this trap. I remember I got caught with that once one time. Let's head up here. Kick the door open. There's a there is a key in here. The hell did I pick that up for? Pick up the torch. Yeah, there's a key up here. Up the ammo. So we're getting our first key of the mission here of the three or four that's in this whole area here. There's one there. I think there's, yeah, there's a way. If you hit C, you'll just drop down, which is good. He climbs down that ladder incredibly slow, just like everything else he does. Don't worry about the, uh, I forget what this guy was called, but the chainsaw dude, he won't break free until you go examine the chain and, and figure out that you need a chainsaw. There's the sniper there. Out of my way, please. We're not going to disarm that. We're going to keep it there just in case. In case enemies come running. Pop the head. How did you not hear that? I was about to say, like, damn. One ugly dude, ain't you? And we got some bombs here. They come in handy, didn't I? I really don't like to use them that much. I could have sworn I hit the button, but whatever. Epic fail. Now you have to open these halfway. There we go. Do not open them all the way. Because of course they'll explode. Shotgun shells, trap parts, and an explosive bolt. Wow. And this is before we even get the agony crossbow. Now, I believe the second key. I know it's on a clothesline here. Now, I'm just going to pick this guy off. What? I can't hit him. There we go. Yeah, right there. Close lot. And I can't hit it for some reason. I don't know why. This guy's here. Hello, dude. 
Come on downstairs. Used to trap. And we missed him. Out of here. Burn. And I think this is where we find the agony crossbow. Or no, the, the shotgun. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we have the, that shotgun here. Put that here. Whoa. Where are you going, dude? Okay, she's smarter than that. She's much smarter. Yeah, she's smart. She's like, I'm not going to fall for that. Out of ammo. You're dead. No, I didn't want to pull that. Let's try not to use it too much. Um, can I? Too slow. Oh, well. Burner. Yeah, because we need to save some ammo for this guy. Um, to figure out what that dude's name is. The Agony Crossbow. Damn good weapon. Do not leave this thing behind, man. The Agony Crossbow is a damn good weapon. Harpoon gun. Um... I don't want to use that. Holy crap. Holy crap. Get out of here, fool. I thought you were dead. Get out of here. Crouch. We can regain some of our health back. Just sit still. There you go. All right, now there's a, uh, yeah, right here on the clothesline. I don't understand why I couldn't hit it before, but how do I, there we go. It's the, the second key there. And I definitely know that there is, there's one right here. Wait for the enemy to come down. Oh, okay. How you doing? And that guy is dead. So we're going for the third key right here. I actually think, I think there's only three, to be honest. I don't know why I keep thinking there's four. Right there. Flash bolt. Very good. It's a very good uh, thing to have. You can blind your enemies, of course. Self-explanatory. Drop down. So we got our third key here. I hope we find some handgun ammo or something. Nothing. I'm not getting caught by that again.
the hell does this do? Gotta be careful with that. Sometimes they swing. They swing at you, even when they're on the ground. Let me heal. And that gun can be really annoying. Alright, we got a checkpoint. That means that we got all the enemies. Which is good. You mean how I got here so quickly? I shot everybody. What the heck do you think I, I did? Alright, we got some handgun ammo. Shotgun shells. I'll take it. Nothing else out here. Where the hell did he go? Okay, now we can go kill. Kill this guy. But first, we're going to make explosive bolts. Flash, uh, flash bolts as well, too, because we're going to blind them. So blind his ass first. And now like I said, he won't spawn until you uh until you examine the chain that's over here. And then he'll break out. Okay, we're back in here again. Is there another? Because I can't remember. Yeah, I think I got all the keys that are here. If I miss one, I miss one. This guy is here? I thought I got everybody. Great stuff. Line them, stealth kill. All right, dude, come on out. Stealth kill. So you can do that. I mean, if you want to try, that didn't really work. Run. Come on, man. Stamina is so bad, dude. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sebastian's stamina is, like I said, I've said it at the beginning of the game. Like, it's annoying. If he runs out of stamina, he'll come to a complete stop. Do not tell me I have to do this whole thing all over again. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. All right, we got to create some bolts here.
Now you got lucky that time. Let's do this again. Come on out. Come on. Ah, oh, man, I completely missed. Gotta take this guy down fast. Now, what the hell you think I'm trying to do, bro? Once you kill him, like all the others, all the other guys disappear, so you don't have to worry about the other dudes popping up. And we're done with this chapter officially. We got all the keys. But before we leave here. I'll take it. Because we ain't got no ammo, man. Barely. All right, now we can get the hell out of this chapter. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. Um, did I not? Did I not pick up the chainsaw from this guy? Apparently not. Get my incendiary, I mean incendiary, uh, my explosive bolt. Get that jump back. I could have sworn I picked up the chainsaw. I guess not. All right. Now we can get the hell out of here. Nothing. I thought I was going to need that. Apparently not. That's fine. We'll take the trap part. God, I hate this guy, man. I hate this dude, man. He's so annoying. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. And we're done with chapter three. Move on to chapter four. Easy chapter. Chapter four is not that bad. Leslie was being treated here years ago. 
You know, like I said, I'm not bagging on this game. I like the fact that it's dark, atmospheric. I do really like that. But I just don't like the... Like I said, just the convoluted story. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. And when a game is hard to follow... You know, when a game is hard to follow, man, I, I don't know. You know, this story just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the shotgun. Burn him. Another map fragment. Uh, nothing really. Now I know that there's a uh, there's a is there a key here? Because I I can't remember to me. <laughs> I know there's a key inside uh the body when we go in there. It's a ghost that'll come out here. Hello, jump scare. Give me green gel. Thank you. I know that there's a, uh, there should be a, a note back here. There's more ammo. Yep, it's a note. And this guy's going to be trying to rush you through the whole thing, man. It's like, we must be going. Matches. And because he's so damn slow... You'll hear that a lot too. You go so fast. What's wrong with this kid? There's male Ashley right there. Okay. There's another note on the door here. Back to another save room. This would be a creepy place to wake up in, wouldn't it? It's like, am I going crazy? This is your only chance, I believe, to pick up the... I know there's a fragment in here as well, too. Pick up the collectibles. This is your only chance to get this. Right here. Pick up that map, that map fragment six, because if you don't pick it up here, you won't be able to get it again. You would have to start the chapter again. Why do you have blood on you? She's got blood all over her. What the hell? Okay. There's another map fragment here. 
That's Math Fragment 7. Please grab that because if you do not grab it here, you, you have to start the chapter again. Because they do stuff like that. You get one chance and one chance only, fool. And we got male Ashley here again. You don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. Uh, you wouldn't feel too good if you were stuck in a place like this either, lady. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here, flash bolts go first. I want to get this up as much as I can because blinding enemies for 13 seconds and up. When you get to chapter six, see range, charge time. The Agony Crossbow comes first when it comes to leveling up. All right. Damage with the shotgun, fire rate, clip, and we'll do that. Why not? All right. Now we're going to go use our keys. I don't know what's up with that door. Sometimes it's locked. Sometimes it's it's not. I don't know why it's that. It just it is what it is. All right. Let's unlock some more doors here. Lockers. Green gel. I guess that's great. Come on, give me something useful. Handgun ammo can't use it because I'm full. Freeze bolts. Yes, I'll take that. Yep. Freeze bolts are useful. My favorite bolt in the game. You can you can sub zero enemies. Freeze them and break them. Fatality. All right, we got our save. Now, you know, the items that you get in the lockers are random. Will you shut up? Um, the items are completely random. So you have to, um, and also save this girl from being thrown into the, uh, into the fire. Weak handgun. And if you chase her in, like she'll, she'll give you some green gel. As soon as I figure out where she is, she ran somewhere. And it's like, they don't even tell you who she is. Like she literally is just some random chick that was being carried away. She disappears and you get green gel. Hey, alive, I got something for you. It's been a I knew you would come in here with that with the banana, man. How you doing today? I hope everything is going good with you. Let me heal myself here. I completed State of Decay 2, so we're starting Evil Within. We're in Chapter 4 right now. I hope everything is all right with you. We 
must find my patience, Leslie. I'm pretty good. I'm enjoying the day off on Christmas Eve over here. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I finished State of Decay 2. And um, I guess I was supposed to start. The hell are you doing in here? Why is he naked? Ow, man. A naked haunted. But yeah, um, started my legacy over. Like, I ended up in a different spot. So... But I didn't want to take you guys through another playthrough of that. Maybe later on. And this is where we'll get another key. Man, I hate this guy's stamina, man. He is just ridiculous. But other than that, I'm chilling, brother. Are you supposed to be scary? I tried to burn him. There we go. Burn. Feel it. All right. And this is where we get another key at. I'm hoping Christmas is good this year. I hope it is for everybody. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. I hope you get to spend time with your families. And you don't get socks for Christmas. Seriously, man. Like, why, why do grandparents have to buy socks? Like, no, don't no kid want no sock, man. Um, they don't no kid want no socks and tube socks for Christmas, man. You know what? You know what kids do with that present? They throw it in a closet never to be seen again. And your grandparents got to get it together. They want iPhones these days. They want iPhones. They don't want tube socks and underwear. And they sure as hell don't want pink bunny suits either. Aunts and uncles, if you get that reference. Yeah, I'm just messing around. I'm old. You know, you know how it is. I, I can accept that. You know why? You're old. Groaning like a geezer. Feel yourself a cracker like an old has been. Look at yourself, old man. You got multiple chins, cause you're old. Yeah. I'm an old man, yo. Know? But it's like I I did get a present from uh from my uh my boss at work. I wasn't even expecting that. She bought me like a uh usually not a fan of dark chocolate, but these ones were actually pretty good. She bought me a, a big box of dark chocolates and a uh and a twenty five dollar gift card anywhere. Like it's a Visa card, and I'm like hell. I wasn't even expecting that. So thank you very much. We have a, yeah, we have a flash bolt, which is good. That's what we need. Because we're going to have one of those invisible enemies coming in. God, I hate this guy. I, I can't stand Leslie. 
I can't stand the other guy, Dr. Jimenez. Subtle down. Did I get him? No. Where is he? Um, why didn't that work? Like seriously, why didn't that work? Y'all saw me just do a flash a flash bolt, right? It should have blinded his ass. Why didn't that work? You too, brother. Hey, you enjoy your time with your family, man. And thank you for the happy holidays. Thank you for stopping by. Are you still out there? This place is a death trap. I hope you have plenty of eggnog and cheeseburgers, brother. That's unlikely. Because that's what Christmas is all about. That's what Christmas is all about. And if I know, if I know my chat the way that I do, I'm pretty sure that one of my favorite streamers is probably lurking in the background. I know she's in here. Hello, Kelsey. I hope everything is good for you. She's playing this game on on Akumu, so it's like she's a true gamer. She plays on the hardest difficulty. While I'm stuck playing on Survivor until I beat this thing. And we got blood on us. Now there's another another key here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew she was in here. I knew she was here. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, um, what happened? You didn't you didn't stream yesterday. Is everything all right? Yeah, I went to go in. I was like, let me go. Hey, Merry Christmas to you, too. I went to go in. I was like, yo, let me catch Kelsey's stream. I'm like, no stream yesterday. Oh, you were not feeling well. Well, I, I hope you feel better. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I know that stuff is going around. Like, everybody's getting sick out here. Now, I know... There's another lever around, a lever around here. That's going to... And I'm happy that you're feeling better, definitely. I did finish State of Decay 2. At least one of them. There's supposed to be four... Four, um... Endings. I'm not gonna take y'all through four different playthroughs of that. <laughs> it's like, nah, we'll just move on to something else. Yeah, it was. It was, um... 14, 14 different videos of that. And what I'm probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video up so that I can just post that. Um, so I can post the end of, of State of Decay and then start this one as a new playthrough on its own. But I hope everybody uh, enjoys their Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is that you guys uh, celebrate. I'm going to let's see. Yeah, we're going to go bring these guys out already. You know, that trap really isn't anything anyways. Like, it's just... um. It's like arrows coming down from the ceiling. So it's not anything that explodes. But yeah, I mean, I like State of Decay too. It, it is a long playthrough though. I had no idea how long it was going to be. All right. 
Let's take care of these guys. And I finally set up Nightbot. Like, I've been trying to figure out how to do that crap so now people can actually lurk in here. Yeah, I have a lurk command and finally I set it up yesterday. Come on in, people. The water's fine. As you burn. Really, bro? Like I shot a hole through his head and I get choke slammed. Wow, these guys, these guys are ridiculously tough, yo. I shot a hole right through his head. And he still choke slammed me, yo. That was some BS if I ever saw it. Unfortunately, like I said, I have to play this on Survivor until I beat the game. And then I can move on to harder difficulty. And if memory serves me correctly, this is where I meet Laura. God, I hate Laura, man. Like, she's really annoying in this game. Now, I know in Chapter 10, like, you can cheese her, and I, I took great pleasure in doing that. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that was BS, man. It's like, it, I don't know, you, you put a hole through that guy's head, and he still, he still grabs you and chokes you. Come on. Come on, Sebastian, with your old self. Yo, the funny thing about... About Laura is... Uh, the funny thing about Laura is if you walk, then she'll walk. She won't run. But if you run, of course, she's going to run after you. Like you could literally walk and she won't, she won't, um, she won't run. Did you notice that? I could burn this, this body. Now for this fight, because Kelsey, you know better in this fight than I do. Like, you know, what strats have you used to beat her here? As a matter of fact, I'm sorry. We fight her in the next chapter. What the hell am I talking about? This is the end of chapter chapter four. Damn it. That was cool. Yeah, chapter five is where we fight her. Did like 50 lore fights? Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to believe that too. Don't let Ruby catch you because he'll he'll touch you and you'll die. Even here. And we'll come back to that in chapter nine when he does that crap. So what's on the agenda today? Like what are you guys gonna be doing for Christmas? Whoever celebrates Christmas in here? Holy crap, I just noticed too, like we got 96 followers, so we got three away from 100, our first 100 followers. Now that's a milestone. Gonna be at your sister's tomorrow. Having a Christmas at my family's tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's what's up. 
I'm probably gonna watch because I know the obligatory Christmas story, uh, and that rhymes. Obligatory Christmas story marathon is probably gonna start tonight, so I'm probably gonna catch like catch that like two times. It's another map fragment there. You shoot your eye out, kid. While I was at work, I got to watch my favorite Christmas movie while I was out while I was at work. Die Hard. Oh my god, that movie is awesome. That movie is so cool, man. And I was sitting there, somebody was streaming it on Twitch. I was like, dude, yep, I'ma watch it. And I watched some Die Hard yesterday. I think I have one key. I, I think I have, but they've been giving me garbage though. Like they're giving me garbage crap that I can't really, that I really don't need. Like, I mean, it's cool to have handgun bullets, but come on now, give me something useful. We got one key. Yeah. See green gel. Well, I mean, which is, is great, but I need some ammo, bro. That's what I need. Give me something useful. Yeah, they're, they're trolling you on, on Akumu, huh? I don't know why they keep doing that, man. Um, do I have any flash bolts? I need flash bolts because we're going to have these guys. As a matter of fact, let me go back. Well, I never knew there was a mirror in that room. Really? You didn't know that? <laughs> that you could go through there? The worrying type, I see. Yeah, you can. Uh, there's actually, I think, three, I think. There's one here, one at the end of the hall, and then there's one in there. I want to upgrade my... Uh, capacity for the agony crossbow yes so now we can carry four of these things well yeah now you know <laughs> hey just the same thing i didn't know about that that uh that strat that you had against laura until i actually saw you use that and i'm like yo That's a lifesaver right there. In chapter 10, you could actually kill her. But yeah, there's one right here, too. Yeah, especially on Akumu, because if you if you know if you don't kill her, you can't get that that key that's over there, and that sucks. There's anything in here. I need flash bolts. Can I create more? Now that I have four. Yep. Yep, because we're going to need it because we got those invisible enemies that are annoying. Did I miss them? I think I did. Why didn't that why didn't that work, yo? Did you see me blind this guy? Seriously. The best T strap because you just have to sit there and just watch and she keeps running into the fire too. Gain our health back. Yeah, that was cheesy, man. Like, I literally blinded him, and it didn't do anything. Looks like I have to get down. And here's another key down here. It's, it's actually on top of a rat. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. But 
Yeah, see right there? Killed the rat instead. What? <laughs> I kind of figured you would like that. Yeah, I gotta put my own unique spin on it. Has been bitten by a zombie and needs a plague antidote. But I'm glad that you feel better, man, because it's like I said, that stuff is going around. Like everybody at my job got sick, and I'm probably going to end up getting sick too. You're dead. And look at these guys' faces. Like, what the hell is that? Seriously, what is that? That's creepy looking. <laughs> that is creepy looking. I will give them that. That's a good design on some of these guys. I think there's another guy here. Yes, there is. And he's dead. And then we should have one more guy after we pick up the key card here. There'll be one more guy. Shotgun shells, which is great. Before here. Yeah, I hate leaving ammo behind. What? We're full. And then we get to find Slosive after this. He's dead. And finding green gel has been easy so far. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Open sesame. More green gel. There's Rubik. Probably one of the most boring end bosses that there is because he literally has nothing. There's nothing about this guy that stands out. Like he's just kind of there. They don't really explain why he why he's all jacked up in the head like he is. Other than him, you know, getting burned in a fire and all that. All right. We got a little puzzle here that we can do. All you got to do, honestly, All you have to do is just look at look at the symbol right here. They put the symbols on the wall. That's what you have to push. If you hit the wrong symbol, then the spikes the spikes will kill you instantly. See, right there. That's the one you got to hit. So they, they make it as easy as, as they can possibly be. I got to tell you, playing on keyboard and mouse, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to it now. But it feels more natural to me in games like this. Right there, Sunflower. Easy. 
easy. This is a really easy puzzle. And we have to go meet Slosive. These are my least favorite parts of the game because that guy is so slow. And he keeps getting chopped up and, and left for dead. Dude can't even heal himself. Get your ass up. I mean, he's not the worst partner I've ever had, but he's he's up there. He's not Steve from Resident Evil, Cole Veronica. Hello, come here. Let them come through. Let them get burned. Now you have to watch some of these guys because even when they're burned, they can still come after you. See? That guy tried to come after me. And they can still grab you. And it's, it's, it's a pain when you're on a Kumu mode, man. Because... Man, that's annoying because it's one hit kills and you burn in them. You burn some of these guys and they freaking in. They grab you and kill you. And there is some green gel here. And we got this guy here. What the hell are you doing? He pops out of nowhere. Funny to me how you could shoot shoot half of their heads off, and they still come after you. There's really nothing else in here but just healing, and a little a little bit of bullets. That's it. It's nothing special. Thing over here. I guess Joseph was shooting somebody. Either that or he turned into green gel. Where the hell is Joseph anyways? Oh, there he is. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past Open the door, fool. Let me see if I can disarm it. Can you open it? Get your ass out the way. And he's gonna choke us. What is it with the sound? I thought it was something electronic. Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. You know, nothing really seems to bother Sebastian. I mean You'd think, you'd think if somebody grabbed me by the throat, man, I'd be like, yo, I would body slam him. And he's like, that's all right. He would all mellow on him. We got shotgun shells. Are we full on that or... Yeah, we're full on shotgun shells. Explosive bolt. Kick the door down. We need to move. Anything else here? Nope. All right. 
Well, where'd you think we end up at? In Albuquerque? We've been coming back to this hospital for the past five chapters, bro. I think I'm going to upgrade the shotgun capacity. Upgrade it to eight. Do some more damage on it. Fire rates. And give a quick save. Did I? I saved there? Yeah. All right. Let's head back out. And let's do this fight here that we got to deal with. This fight is, is ridiculous on... Uh, on a kumu mode because everything kills you in one hit it is a pain in the ass and we got to save kidman here joseph are you all right joseph yeah, are you all right fine. You get down here. yeah i'm all right Hold on. I'm coming. um we're going to blind these guys if we can can we i know then we'll just do that then burn them bam Pull these guys over, burn them. How many of these things are there? Oh snap, is Joseph getting messed up? Oh, I want to burn him. Thank you. Come on, man, die. Shotgun shells. Burn them. I love, you know, the burning mechanic is the best in the game. All right, we got this guy with dynamite here. Hey, Joseph, good. Good, brother. And we're not done yet. We're not out of the out of the woodworks yet. Um can I explosion? I didn't really do anything, but Yeah, I can see that, brother. Wow, he just literally blew himself up. That's funny. Is that, is that it? Now we're gonna heal real quick. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna burn you. Damn it. Shut up. How did he not die, dude? Seriously. Dude. You took way too much damage. Then you take took more than he needed to. Burner. Got a guy with dynamite here. He's dead. Oh, that is such BS, dude. Like, I ran away from the guy and he still killed me instantly. All right. They got lucky. 
All right, what's the deal? Okay. I love that. Burn, bro. I was clearly hitting that guy, but apparently. Is that it? Nope, it's not it. Still something nearby. We're probably gonna freeze these guys. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back up. Get them. Get dead. How are you not dead, bro? I froze you. Dead. Hitman needs help. Got him. Damn it. That was close. You better come have a look at this. All right. Well, we only died once there. That kind of sucks. All right, so let's save our good old buddy Kidman, who we know absolutely nothing about at all. I don't know nothing about this female at all. God, I love the burning mechanics. There's a key over there. We're not going to worry about it yet until we get Kidman out. We out of, yeah, we're out of matches, I think. Oh well. I think there's another control panel around here. Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah. Top yep. One the bottom one. Set the upper dial to twenty-two and the lower dial to five. They fall down, and now we get to collect everything in the area before we hop down. All the enemies are gone, so don't worry about that. Know that there's a key here. That's the most important thing here. Damn shitty stamina, dude. Come on. Anything here? Handgun ammo. We'll take it. Why not? That's all we got over here. Then we get to pick up everything now. Heal. So I can pick that up. Try parts. Hang on, I'm coming. And gun bullets. I shall give myself full health. Pick that up. And I noticed some green gel in one of these rooms over here on the shelf. Yep, right here. And that's pretty much it that, you know, it for what's in this room. 
drop down. Where'd they go? When this deep dark area here. Like I wouldn't even want to be in a place like this. Pick up the pick that up as we can use that on a haunted like this guy here. Half ahead. Anything in here? Some trap parts. I can use that. Is that it? All right. Joseph. Joseph. Kidman, you there? There's some handgun bullets. That's always great. Even though that gun sucks. There's some more trap parts here. There's nothing else here, though. Pop down. And I'm out of... Yeah, I don't have no... No, um... No matches. This kind of sucks. Sebastian. The hell hit me. Okay, you taking more damage than you need to, bro. Jeez. There we go. How are you still alive, bro? Seriously. That guy took way too much damage. Hello, Kidman. It looks like the door is locked from the other side. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. You know what? I'll take Kidman over um over Jessica from Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations. You talk about a bland character that has nothing. Thank you. Thank you for opening the door. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd though. Are we really? Are we really glad they're okay, Sebastian? It's Laura. I've recognized those hands anywhere with them grotesque nails. Another one of those doors. Yep, it's another one of those doors. Yes, Titiana. It's another missing persons poster. Is there anything else in here I can actually do? I mean, we don't have that much green gel, so whatever. 
Yeah, see, sometimes this door is open, sometimes it's locked. I don't know why it's, it's doing that, but whatever. All right, we got three keys. Let's open some lockers. <laughs> Hang on ammo. Because I really need that. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me something useful. All right, whatever. At least I know I have handgun ammo there for when I need it. That sucks. But I do know that, um, with the if you I mean I know for a fact that if you um if you upgrade the harpoon bolts up to level five then they become flame bolts so yeah that's what we're going to do yeah level four here and you could just burn enemies without having to use your matches which is good. All right. And we're going to take on have to deal with Laura in a little bit. That'll probably be it for our stream today. Going a little bit over today, but that's fine. You're dead. That only works if you hit them directly in, in the face with a bottle. Like, if you hit them directly in the face with the bottle, it blinds them, and you can go in for a stealth kill. Yeah, remember, only open these halfway. Freeze bolt, which is great. So... And we have no matches. I just realized that. Like, we don't have no matches against Laura. And that's not good at all. There's got to be some somewhere. Because if not, we're, d we're just going to have to use what we have at our disposal at that point. Oh, crap. Hello. Nice to meet you. Out of my face. Thought you was going to fool somebody. Is there anything in here? Yes, matches. That's what we need. Now, there's another key here. It's going to be on top of a bird. But first. Got to deal with her real quick. Yeah, see, I can't. There we go. I thought you can shoot it to set it on fire. Apparently, I'm wrong there. Get rid of her. And we got 
a bird that's going to come out here with a key on his back. I don't even know how that's even possible. How did I miss? Oh, I keep, you know, I keep shooting the birds. <laughs> yeah, I keep shooting the birds. That's a... I'm starting to feel bad about that. Okay. Now we're going to have to fight Laura here. She always goes to the nearest body where you are. That's just how she's programmed to do. So I'll just wait for her to pop up here. Yeah, she came out the wrong body there. Do not run out of stamina. Yeah, she got us. Like, I really hate Sebastian's stamina in this. Like, I wasn't even holding the... I wasn't even holding the button for him to sprint. That's fine. Is whatever it is. All right. Like I said, she spawns out of. She spawns out of the nearest body to you. So she's going to come out of this one. Ah, uh, see, I, I, I didn't time that one right. Come on, I ran past her and she still got me. That's all right. Yeah, we messed up there. Yeah, I ran past her and she still grabbed me. All right. Yeah, I burned that body too early. All right. So, let's do this again. She comes out. Burn her. Go to this body here. Wait for her to pop out first. And you got like a split second to burn her. There you go. She's going to come out here. Burn her. She's going to come out of that body over there. And she comes. Burn her. She's going to come out of that body again. I'm going to burn her again. Come on. Burn her. Jump down. Pull the lever. Burn her. Let her come out of that body over there. Where's she going to come from? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Come out of this body here. Come on out. There she is. We got her.
We got her. Yeah, she's weak to fire. Collect everything first. Don't want to leave anything behind that we can use. All right, you have a good day, Kelsey. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your time with your family. Happy holidays to you. I will see you later. I always appreciate you. And we have to listen to Rubik as he talks his nonsense, which I have no idea what the hell he's talking about, as always. And we have to kill these guys. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell this I don't know what the hell that was even about. Whatever. We got to take these guys out and then we'll move on. This will probably be it for today. I'll come back and do some more of this tomorrow. Come on out. You have to knock these guys and then. Really? the plug and then knock this guy over with a plug and then we're done all right we're done with chapter five. All right, we're gonna call it here. Join me in the arcade. Thank you to everybody that stopped by the stream today. I hope all of you guys enjoy your holidays and you enjoy your time with your family. I will be back here tomorrow at noon, as I always am. And then when I come back on Tuesday, it'll probably be four or five o'clock in the afternoon. You guys have a good day. Y'all take care.